Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope your watercolor is going great, you are learning and improving. So in this watercolor tutorial, I'm going to talk about your biggest mistake you are making, uh, you know, and, uh, and things like uh, you're not even aware that uh, these mistakes are basically brings a lot of frustration and uh, you know, the, you, you are, you're struggling with a watercolor. So before starting this, I want you to please subscribe this channel if you have not done it yet. So please go ahead and subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so you get a you know notification whenever I upload a new video, right? So please do that. <laughs> I really want you to fast track your watercolor learning. So after doing my research, I found that the biggest struggle any watercolor beginner has is their fear and how their fear is holding you off. So to address this common problem, I have created a quick watercolor lesson which will help you to overcome your watercolor fear. So go to my watercolor class website and uh, request for this lesson. And yes, this is going to be absolutely free. So go ahead and get this. You know, what is the biggest mistake you are doing and why I want to call out it very first? Because a lot many people are doing it and uh, I don't know consciously they're not aware of this or I don't know what's what is happening but a uh, lot of people are really not uh, you know uh, they're, they're just demotivating themselves uh, looking at the someone else painting right <laughs> and uh, they they feel like okay I should start painting similar like him or her and that is something like uh, you know it's, it brings a lot of curiosity at first and when you go and try to replicate the same painting or probably just try to follow their style, the way they work, things like that and you start going to walk on those into your painting, you will see like it's a tremendous disaster, <laughs> right? And you'll feel like, oh my God, I'm not able to make it, uh, you know, near to what, uh, you know, the other people are doing it. And that brings a lot of frustration. There's a lot of, you know, anxieties within you and you are just feeling like I'm not doing good. I'm doing a lot of painting and I wanted to paint someone like you know, some other artist. But what is the biggest problem you are doing it? You are following, following someone. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you should, you should have some inspiration. You know, you should get some inspiration from artists or what the way they But the thing is like, uh, when you start making watercolor art, especially when you are learning, you can't just go and start painting like them, right? I mean, you need to have, you need to get in a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a lot of learning how he has done it. You should, instead of just going and, uh, you know, trying to paint like him or her, Instead, you should try to understand their story, you know, the, the, the person you are following. Just try to understand their struggles, their process, what all the pain the person has gone, the artist has gone through, how, how they have established their style, how they have established their the overall, you know, uh, uh, the impression of art and everything. So you need to go and dig deep into it and just understand what is their story? What is the artist I want to paint like? What is their story, right? What is their processes? How we or she is just, you know, been painting such a beautiful painting, right? So just learn about that artist, their story, right? And that gives you a lot of inspiration. Right. And that's a very, uh, you know, this should be a very first step. You should be start doing this instead of just going and just picking some some good artist uh, painting and start replicating that. That's not a good way. I mean, I'm sure you're going to fail, right? <laughs> because you will be just start making uh, the painting and uh, the way the, the established artist working is differently. Like uh, you will not find it anywhere in the book. You will not find it anywhere <laughs> because the way they work is absolutely different. The way they treat of, uh, you know, the, the feast happen, you know, in the paper, it's absolutely different, right? 
if you have uh, got a chance to see the demonstration of any artist you'll see like you know how they work but if you're going to replicate the same thing in your art it's very difficult because you know because because, because the way they work is absolutely different the temperament their the way of uh, handling the color pigment stuff like that is absolutely it comes from within from the particular artist right you can you can't judge them you can't just judge how they have done it and you can't just <laughs> you can't just start making like like the like uh, the other artists are doing what i want to say is just start understanding their process and just make another small small sort of painting even if you are really very excited about the particular artist you can just go ahead and make a, a small small study i would say i mean take it as a study so start doing that right does that make sense <laughs> right so start doing this You know the next biggest mistakes what you are doing it you have you have convinced yourself the watercolor is very tough <laughs> because you know a lot of people because somebody has told you somebody has explained to you that you know watercolor is very tough oh you are doing watercolor oh it's a very complicated medium you should be aware of that instead you just move it to some other medium because that's uh, pretty much easy to control watercolor is absolutely non controllable you can't control it and it will take out your all frustration and you'll not have a good time with watercolor and you have accepted it and even if you have not accepted it somewhere if somebody has told you or somewhere and somehow you have convinced that the watercolor is really tough your cognitive mind <laughs> they 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 react in the, in the same fashion how you have just think so you just convinced yourself that okay watercolor is tough and whenever you go and try to paint the very first thing is comes in my mind oh this is tough you know i will be very i should be very careful with my first layer even if i'm going to second layer i should be very much careful because watercolor is very tough if i do any mistake watercolor is very tough <laughs> does it happen to you <laughs> be honest <laughs> yeah it is it does you know uh, most of the people are going through these phases where these fears you know these are actually you know once you convinced yourself that okay certain uh, this watercolor is basically the tough you will start you know you'll always be in, in that mind frame you'll be always be very careful your brush strokes your the way you start working on the paper you know very slowly very carefully application of these colors stuff like that it it comes and it never goes away right so what you need to do is first you need to throw away any negative aspect of watercolor learning if somebody says watercolor is very tough then you said oh really yes let me just try it just bring some positivity in uh, you know right there itself if somebody says that and if you are not say right there in front of you know the person he is saying i'm telling you that will be there inside in your mind all the time and you will never able to paint freely okay so don't listen to anyone if somebody is saying it's a it's a very tough medium which medium is very <laughs> which medium is uh you, you you feel is like a very easy oil acrylic pastel what what mediums it's it's not about tough or you know uh, easy things like that it's more important the, your acceptance your your way of accepting the joy how you're bringing the joy you know when you're working on any of the medium you're working on no matter whether you're working on a watercolor oil color acrylic any medium if you not have a joy from within you if you if you not enjoying that medium you will never going to learn any medium tell you <laughs> so just keep that in mind just remove any sort of uh, such negativity that watercolor it is very tough it is basically not <laughs> watercolor is a very joyful process it's a, it's a very joy <laughs> oh, what to say about watercolor it's a beautiful medium it's just a beautiful medium 
it just takes a little a little time uh, you know and it takes you just think about the any other medium or any other thing you you want to achieve in your life you need to spend some time you need to learn it you need to dedicate your time and effort and everything the same thing with the watercolor it's not uh, you know exceptional it's, 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 it's it works same right so all you need to do is just spend 15 20 minutes every day and that's all <laughs> another mistake most of the people are doing is they are really don't care about uh, the light and shades so i would uh, i would i would ask you to please give you a lot of attention to this area because if you really not understanding the the real essence of the light in your painting i mean your painting will never look you know uh, it will not have that pleasure right so this lightness and the proper amount of light where the light has to reflect where there should be in some shades and stuff like that so these are really important for you to just give a lot and lot uh, you know uh, attention so you need to learn it so you just see the source from where to learn of course you'll have a you know you'll ask me like you know, how to learn this it's very easy <laughs> so what you need to do is just heads up and just see around you where the source of light falling in the wall right where from where the source is coming and how it is falling and which all the elements gives you those shades that's the important that's the way to learn in a real life you really don't need to just go and check any reference image as such look at there anywhere right now just see and you will see how those light and shades work <laughs> it's easy it's very easy and the moment and the day you're going to implement this you are going to learn this and if you are able to bring even up 25 percent of these light in your painting you're done i mean you see like a tremendous energy tremendous growth in your painting and your watercolor journey and last but not the least this 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 mistake is amazing <laughs> because i see when whenever i do workshops and uh, i meet a lot of uh, you know uh, the people and the moment they start showing me their their you know watercolor it's full of their from that brush strokes itself you will understand the the level of that artist because that brush strokes that defines everything and you see a lot of people basically you know they'll have a very tiny fearful patches very small small patches all over the painting trying to do something all you need to do is how you can just take brush you know color from uh, from the plate and how confidently you are applying those brush strokes in your painting that is something unimaginable if you're if you will able to bring that into your painting i'm telling you you'll have a really good time with your watercolor right and it happens only when you do a lot of practice so do a lot of practice because practice is the only answer for watercolor you know practice 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 so if you are able to bring it only 15 minutes 20 minutes in every day you can just do that you know you really don't need to make a masterpiece you just need to just be connected with this art that's all you need to do so i hope you enjoy this tutorial so please visit my watercolor class uh, you will have an amazing time with my class so uh, if you really wanted to join just visit and just see what this uh, what is my watercolor uh, class is offering to you so thank you so much everyone i hope you enjoy this tutorial i will be coming up new video very soon till the time bye take care and don't forget to paint